Hello, I'm Sergeant Chandler with the Public Information Office of the Sacramento Police Department. This incident briefing will provide you with information about an incident that recently occurred in our city. In this briefing, we will present material to inform you of what occurred based on our understanding at this stage of the investigation. Please keep in mind that this investigation is still in progress and we continue to collect and analyze additional evidence and interview witnesses. A word of caution to sensitive viewers, the material that we will present may be disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. On Wednesday, September 5th, 2018, at 11.32 p.m., officers from the Sacramento Police Department were dispatched to the area of Broadway and 16th Street regarding a suspicious subject walking with a mask and a gun. 911, what is the address of your emergency? Ma'am, there's a guy with a gun. I don't know if it's a real gun, a play gun, but he got a mask on his face. Right. I work at Okay, so he's, where is he at right now? Uh, he's walking up uh he's walking up Broadway and he's right Broadway and what? Uh sixteenth I guess it's called. Uh sixteenth street. And Land Park. Sixteenth and Land Park, man. Sixteenth and Land Park. Yes, he's going towards um he's going towards uh Oak Park area. He just crossed the street. He crossed over 16th and Land Park. He's right there in front of the tower, and he's walking. He got a mask on. Going today. Toward, towards a park? Ma'am, he, he, yes, he okay. has a What's gun. Your name? He's walking up Broadway. My name is... Okay. He's walking right up Broadway, ma'am. He's going towards the uh, uh, Chevron gas station. He'll be, uh, uh, yeah, right there at the Chevron gas station. Okay. He's passing the Chase Bank. He's on the right side. He's got a, a backpack. Is he white, uh, black, Hispanic, or Asian? I couldn't tell. He had a mask on his face. He got like a grayish pants, a black hoodie, and a mask on his face. And he's walking around carrying a gun and he's pointing at people. Okay. He just pointed at me and two of my other coworkers. He didn't say anything, but he just pointed it at us and he walked on off. At 11.36 p.m., a CHP airplane arrived over the area and was searching for the suspect. CHP advised the suspect was eastbound Broadway and was carrying something. During this time, video surveillance in the area captured the suspect walking. A patrol officer contacted the 911 caller. Right here, hey, boss, he's right here on the right-hand side. He's got a backpack, he's got a mask on his face, and he's got a gun in his hand. I don't know if it's real or not, but I just came out the job right there. and I was sitting down squatting until my co-workers came out. He went like this with the gun at us, and he just kept going. But he's walking down the street with the shit in his hand. Okay. At 11.38 p.m., a patrol officer arrived on scene, and the suspect fled south on 20th Street into a residential area. The officer stayed in his vehicle and maintained a visual of the fleeing suspect. CHP and patrol officers saw him climb over a fence into a residential property. The following video is footage from the CHP airplane of the suspect running away from the responding patrol officer. And one Alpha 44, he's running away from me. Uh, it's going to be southbound on 20th 20 from Broadway. And he's coming up to Burnett. 21's with him, still southbound, he's curb. Following body worn camera video footage is from a responding patrol officer. And one Alpha 44, he's running away from me. Uh, we're going to be southbound on 20th 20 from Broadway. And he's coming up to Burnett. Copy, southbound plane from Broadway. Still southbound, he's curb. One straight over to the east. Okay, he's going uh, eastbound through yard. He did dump a backpack at, back on Broadway also. Eastbound over a fence at uh, whatever street I gave you. And he gets to the east. Go east. Over the fence, 25670. We got units on the east side. Get somebody south. Okay, 4-4, four, four, I've moved down to uh, 2 zero Street and 1st Avenue.
He's coming this way. Get some more people back a little bit north. A patrol officer arriving on scene to assist saw the suspect with a gun in his hand. The suspect ignored the officer's commands to show his hands and fled back into a residential property over a fence. For the safety of everyone involved and based on the suspect being armed, officers on scene immediately set up a perimeter to contain the suspect. At 11.42 p.m., the patrol supervisor on scene communicated with the CHP personnel in the airplane to coordinate the perimeter. Air from Sam 4, how's our perimeter look? Good, sir. You've got that block locked down. 20th first in the alley and you're good. And then uh, with Burnett to the north. At 3.10 a.m. during the search for the suspect, a canine was deployed in the backyard of an occupied residence. Officers entered the backyard and at 3.12 a.m. they located the suspect hiding under a stairwell at the rear of the house. Officers observed the suspect with a gun in his hand and ordered him to drop his weapon. The suspect pointed his weapon at officers who then fired at the suspect. The officers repositioned and brought in a bulletproof shield. At 3.15 a.m., officers called out to the suspect. There was no response from the suspect. Suspect! Crawl out towards us! Show me your hands and crawl out towards the sound of my voice! 
Show me your hands. Crawl out towards the sound of my voice. Show me your hands and crawl out towards the sound of my voice. All right, got got nothing. No movement. Nothing so far. Suspect, show me your hands. Crawl out towards the sound of my voice. At 3.19 a.m., the officers approached the suspect and recovered a firearm and a knife. Gloves on. You guys see the gun? Somebody with hands, move up first. Guns right in at his... Whoever's hands. I'm just throwing him back here. I'm yeah, on. I'm going to grab the gun. Grab his hands. I got his hands. Yeah. You, how you want to handle this now? He's. You know what I mean? I got gloves. Hey, we need to get him out of here. I mean, in this. Yep. At 3:24 a.m., officers administered CPR. There. Well, I, I'll start CPR here. At 3.26 a.m., the Sacramento Fire Department arrived on scene and took over medical aid. At 3.31 a.m., fire personnel pronounced the suspect deceased. Homicide detectives, internal affairs, and crime scene investigation units responded to the scene for an officer-involved shooting investigation. As part of our department's protocol, this incident is being investigated in conjunction with the Sacramento County District Attorney's Office, the Sacramento City Attorney's Office, and the City's Office of Public Safety Accountability. Investigators determined the firearm was a pellet gun that was a replica of a Sig Sauer P225 9mm handgun. On the left is a picture of the suspect's firearm and knife. On the right is a picture of an actual Sig Sauer P225 9mm handgun. This shooting resulted in the tragic loss of a young life and profound grief for the family, loved ones, and for our community. No one involved, including our officers, wanted this situation to end as it did. As we continue to investigate this incident, our police department encourages any witnesses with information to contact our dispatch center at 916-808-5471 or Sacramento Valley Crime Stoppers at 916-443-4357 or submit an anonymous tip using the free P3 tip smartphone app.